So I can't do any more of that. I really need to eat something though. Look at this. I am I'm almost starving right now. Oh look, you can see my uh my screen. Everything's getting desaturated. I don't know if you can tell, but it is. It's like everything is losing color, basically. That's what desaturated means. Oh, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a dude. Dude man, come here, dude man. Come on, dude. Come in. Come and get me. Are you coming? What's up, people? I'm Zug, back on Forever Stranded Lost Souls. And, uh, yeah, so I've died plenty of times to these guys right there. Those those are the guys that I die to a lot. Um, I, I actually left most of my death markers. I think the only ones I actually removed were the ones that, uh... Huh, okay, huh, ah. I'm gonna die again, just so you know. Oh, there it is. Okay. So the way I beat this, guys is I just keep respawning and I keep hitting them because usually they wander off away from your grave, which is good that they don't like camp you. But uh, yeah, it's thing, it's episode two and I've already, oh, this guy's camping me now. I think we're good though. Yeah, suck it, punk. Okay, juggernaut thing. Um, yeah, but I've died a lot. One there, one there, one there. Oh no, that's uh, my regular marker, one there. One over here now. Where'd it go? Oh, I think I did 15 blocks. Uh, it doesn't show for 15 blocks. So one there. So I've died more than five times. It's episode two and I've already failed hardcore mode. I told you I would tell you when it happened. And of course, this is my first play through, play, play through of this thing. So it's happened quite a bit. Now, I wanted to show you a couple of things. I did get a little bit of progress done uh, and that is just because it was kind of simple enough. Number one, I planted all the seeds that we got from breaking all the little fibers that grow all over the place. So now we have our little fiber farm over here. Uh, it's nothing special, nothing spectacular. We're good to go on that front. I've also planted, I, I, I plucked, I dug, I, uh, what is it called? I lumberjacked. We're going to say I lumberjacked all of these guys. The Hellbark saplings are now, they're planted, but they haven't grown yet for whatever reason. I feel like they probably should have, but whatever. Um, so they're replanted. I do have a, some wood, not a huge amount, obviously, but uh, it's enough. And I did craft uh, a flint pickaxe, which is not too incredibly difficult. That was uh, the one thing. It's just more flaked flint. One of the little fiber things or the, the, the string, the twine that I made last time and some of the sticks. So it wasn't hard to make. I could also make a shovel or some other things. Uh, and it's just kind of a, a deal. Now, as far as, my skill, as far as my skills are concerned, I am one in everything, apparently. I don't know if, that, if, if I started with zero or what, but I, I think I did, and I don't know how to level these things up better. So that's a thing. I'm assuming the higher level gear you use, the faster you level. I mean, some of these levels are astronomical. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, this guy's not too bad. Well, okay, that's actually pretty bad. 26. There's something in here. This guy, for whatever reason, is only 12. He's diamond ore. This guy's like 15. Yeah, that <laughs> lapis ore is 27. Like, 26. It's really, really weird. Oh, there's another one there that I, I didn't actually show you. There's another death point. There's one. <laughs> one there, one there, one there. One there, one there. Yeah, we have a bunch. I died a lot. So that's the thing. And always still those juggernauts. They keep coming around. It's really weird. But anyway, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of progress done. I didn't do too much in the way of quests either. I did take a look at uh, this one. We unlocked a new one. If we go back to this. Stuff and things is now unlocked. So we can go in here and make some bonsai plots, which pots are one block automatic tree farms. We're going to look into that. I'm not sure when. But I wanted to show you. I actually have a way to get rid of these guys now. If you mine the block under them, they drop. And then you can actually craft back this stuff into regular old netherrack, just like that. So now I have building blocks. And even when they're in a situation like this, you don't have to mine all the way to it. You can actually hit the corner of the block and still mine it out, which is really good. And that way you can get rid of some of the danger from the area, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to get rid of everything and my death points. Um, yeah, there's another juggernaut. Totally died again. So all of that stuff is done. And not only have I failed the hardcore mode, but I didn't even come close. I've already died like four more times. I don't know how hardcore mode is even a thing. 
Um, I did kill one Enderman. The Enderman killed me a couple of times. Um, those Juggernauts keep killing me. I need to find a defense against them, and I don't know what to do. The ranged stuff, like bows and everything, they're... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Really? You're gonna give me... I mean, I can get the blocks for it. I'm definitely gonna keep those, but jeez, man. I'm gonna have to deflect this back at the guy, hopefully. If that's even a thing I can do around now. Give me you. All right. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know how to defend against some of this stuff. It's just kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't know what to do to prevent it. I don't know how anybody could do hardcore mode in this and survive. I have died so many times. It's ridiculous. Now, one thing I did notice that when you die, the experience up at the top left-hand corner actually goes back down. And I'm thinking... I don't know if that is what will help these grow or not. I'm not sure. But as you can see, I'm only like barely into anything. I, I have nothing and I've done a lot of stuff. I have done a lot of digging. I've done a lot of killing and my, my skills have not grown. So I don't know if I need the better tools or if I need something else. And you guys are going to have to help me out with that because I don't know and I'm going to need your help. Here's the five walruses that I have. Uh, that I got out of a loot box. But anyway, so I, I have actually done a few more things uh, that I did not uh, actually click on. Now, we have stuff and things, but we're not going to worry about this one yet. We're going to go into here. First of all, flint hatchet. Got it. Okay, so do I want one loot chest or one loot chest? Six flint, no. Chance cube, no. To gravel, no. Supreme apple, no. Searing swordfish, no. So I think we're going to do another loot chest. We're going to choose the second one just because. Done. And then we're going to go to wood, which I've also done. Get any kind of eight wood. It says consume no. I've already done it. Uh, I think I put the wood away, but yeah. We're going to get, ooh, we can get diamond ore or a golden axe. I don't like the idea of a golden axe because it doesn't last very long. It's only got a few, a little bit of durability. We can get torches, but I don't think torches are going to help us much. We can get one of these, which will help protect us against fire protection too. Imp skin. I wonder if I can craft this. Before we select this, let's take Oh, yeah. I did kill a couple of things. I got some chain stuff. Uh, this mod pack has infernal mobs on. And one of the... Um, oh, one finally grew. Barely, but it grew. Um, they have infernal mobs. And one of the magma cubes, we got a big one. A big spawn. So he separated. And one of those guys, every time I hit him... He actually laid a cobweb in me, which was a uh, really kind of difficult. But I did eventually kill them. I think they, uh, I don't think they killed me, but they took me down pretty low. But he did that to me twice, so I broke the cobwebs. I got two string, which is almost enough to craft a bow, but it's not quite enough. So until we get another string, I don't think string is craft. Well, it is craftable, but I can't. You know, it's only just by industrial hemp and all these other things like cotton that we don't have. So I can't really do any of that right now. But, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, some stuff happened. But imp skin. Let me check out imp skin to see if this is something we can actually make. Like you, for example. Imp leather. Uh, which we cannot, we can't actually craft this. At least not right now. Yeah, like you just, this is all about carpet. So this stuff you have to find, I guess. So we could do the imp skin, which would be better protection. Uh, the thing is, if we do that... Then we actually, like, we get two loot chests. We get, we, we risk losing that. So we have two loot chests, and I know I need to survive. I think surviving is the key to growing a lot more levels a lot faster. I really do. I think that's what it is now. So I have to be a lot more cautious. But at the same time, loot chests, man, I could get some really good stuff from that. Do I want to gamble, or do I want to do that? This is fire protection, and it does give two, oh, I can't even use it. I don't have two gathering yet. I don't know how to get gathering, but I don't have it. So let's just get the loot chest. I mean, we'll probably get stuff that we can't use anyway. So that is what it is. Crafting table, I also did. Um, so that's good. We can do flint block, no oak, wood, nah. Well, that could be handy. That actually is pretty good. Two chests, I don't need. Melons, maybe? Loot chest? I think we might actually go for the oak wood. Because I can actually get, hmm, 
Okay, at first you will only be able to craft one table until you gain the skills needed to use a crafting station. Tip to gain level to gain skills to use items, press E to look and look at the top left of your inventory. There is an icon there. Click that, then place XP in the areas you need to gain skills to use an item block. How do I do that? Because I want to do that often so that when I die, I don't lose them all. I guess, yeah, okay. So I think that makes more sense. You have to survive long enough in order to be able to place it. And I've only leveled up. I've only survived long enough uh, in order to do one in building. So that's how you gain skills. All right, I understand that now. Um, oak wood. I can actually get the wood, but it will require a lot. I don't want to use, I think the wood is going to be better. I think we're going to do the wood. We're going to do the wood on that one. Uh, crafting station. I can't use this yet. Oh, I have two building. I can use a crafting station. Once you've got the skills to use this item, you may place it down to use. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that because that's really, really good. Actually, let's go ahead and get this. How do we do? Is it just a, I know in the past, it's usually just putting the crafting table back into the thing for the pattern crafting station. Wow. Okay. Crafting station. You. So, yeah, craft. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so I can just pick this guy up, and then I can go ahead and go like this to get the crafting station, and now I can place it down, and we have another uh, thing. Because I like, obviously, those are better because stuff stays in. One chance icosahedron. Chance value is random. That's what I don't like. I'm not big on the randomness like that. Now, we can do four blank patterns, but I'm pretty sure we can craft those easily. Blank. Uh, blank, I said, patterns. So yeah, I can just do planks and sticks so I can craft those. So I don't want to use my reward on things that I can actually craft. This is uh, just that more oak is good. I can't, I can't even eat this meal yet. So it's, it's really, really bad, guys. I need to survive a lot longer. I need to make like a farm of some kind. I need to make... That's the best way I think that I'm going to get experience is if I find a way to make a farm. But I think for now we're going to go for the loot chest on this one as well. Uh, all of this might actually be giving me experience, which would be really cool actually. So now that we have this, we got the loot chest. I claimed it, so we're done there. What else do we have? This guy, I have that. Oh, I need to make a flint shovel as well. It doesn't consume it. But I do need to make the shovel and the, oh, we can get the work blade, the axe, the shears, two loot chests. I can make these guys chance cube and an extra life. That would be handy, but we, we're not on a hard course. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, so we're probably going to get the two loot chests, but I do need to make the shovel, which isn't all that difficult to make. I do have some stuff. Let's go ahead and open our loot chest real quick. Witherless Rose. With the Nether Stars enchanting this rose, the holder is protected from withering. Ooh, that is awesome. I can't be withered right now. That is fantastic. Uh, with the Nether Stars enchanting this rose. Well, it says with the Nether Stars enchanting. Does, does that mean it's crafted with Nether Stars? Yeah. Holy crap. That is a really good thing. I cannot be withered. You are immune to the wither ailment. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay, good, good, good. I got a waystone. I can't use it, but okay. Well, I don't know what you do, but that's cool. I like waystones. Why not? Uh, okay, chain wolf armor. Fantastic. I have this in my uh, mod pack too. Uh, and spawn. Oh, I can get protection. Yes. I can't use this. I need one more building in order to use this. Um, but we can get some wolves. And then I need bones because these aren't going to spawn tamed. So we're going to have to put them away for now. Uh, and we really, really want to do it. Is this a sophisticated wolf? Do we have sophisticated wolves? Uh, uh, at Sophie. We do not have sophisticated wolves, unfortunately. Uh, that is actually a really big bummer. Sophisticated wolves are amazing. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave these guys alone. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, they don't stack. So that's actually really bad. Uh, okay, one more of these guys. Boom. Experience Pylon. Ooh. Collect nearby XP orbs, then release or bottle them later. Can I put my experience into this? I don't... I can't... Oh, I can't... Can I use it? Ooh. 
Obtain all experience from the player. Oh, I can. Oh, that is fantastic. All right, so this one did indeed find what it needed to find in order to complete this. We're going to go ahead and get these two loot chests and we're done. Um, now we can actually do an upgrade to iron. You may be able to craft better tools, but have you got to... But have you got to get the skills to use... What? To gain skills, just press E. So I need to level up, I guess. I need four mining in order to do this. Um, we can get an iron sword from it, which I think is actually not as good as what we have already. So we don't want that one. We want this one, but we can't get this yet. I don't have the skills for that. Uh, this pylon is going to be incredibly valuable for us uh, because I can come in here often. Anytime, for example, we see a bad guy out there that we think we're going to die with, we can run in here real quick, dump in all of our experience, and then go try to kill him just to get him out of the area. And then once we're done, we can bring it all back out. And I can't get all of it, but I can get all the way down to five. Um, and I can't withdraw more than that. But now that we actually have some stuff in here, I can upgrade some things. So I can get, I don't know what adding difference is, but obviously we need a lot of this. Um, we need a lot of everything really. But building is going to help us out. I think building, if we got building level three, we could use our wolves, but I don't have the bones to tame them yet. So that might not be our best use of skills uh we could do farming which would help us do some kind of farming something something um or building i think or magic i don't know what maybe mining can we get anything with mining a two i can do mining three now oh now it takes five experience okay i understand now so now i have two out of 13. so if i do this and drain all we have 33 and now i'm back down to zero out of seven this is perfect this thing is going to help us out tremendously with doing things uh, oh thank goodness i needed some food oh thank you thank you i can't you eat you i can't eat you and i can't eat you i need to get full farming i need to go kill some things so i can get some farming stuff but that is amazing once i actually do that Inori crystals. I can't use you at all either. You're uncommon though. Okay, so I need to get go ahead uh, and put some of this stuff away. But now at least I know how to level things. This is very, very, very good. Um, it's really unfortunate that I can't eat my food yet, but that's okay. That's okay. It only requires four. We can work on that. Um, okay, so I need to figure out what it is that I want to do, and then I can know what skills I want to upgrade. So we can do iron if we did mining three, right? Was that what I needed? Four, mining four. And I think I just leveled mining, didn't I? Yeah, so I need one more. I need five more experience in order to get that guy. So it's not, I'm not too far away from that, actually. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we should be okay there, but I can't do it yet. Um, ceramic is good. We can get buckets. Buckets are actually going to be very, very handy because then we can pick up lava and granted, a lot of mobs aren't really going to die from lava, but it's cool, I guess, maybe. Um, so you can make, if you don't like sifting for pebbles to obtain cobblestone, try using soul stone, which can be found dotted or about this dimension. It will also break down with a hammer to gravel. Ooh. Number one, that actually gives me a lot of information. Okay, number one, that means we can use a sieve or sieve, I think it's called. If we do some oak stuff, it says heavy. I can only, oh, here we go, sieve, regular old sieve. And it looks like any planks, which is very, very good. There's also something else I wanted to do, a drying rack. This is why I got the oak. We can do an oak drying rack here. I can't use this one because that requires a lot, um, which is really unfortunate, but I can do this one. And this guy is, it just re it requires a bunch of oak things, which is why I got oak. So the thing is, I do have that. Can I get like these wooden pins? How do we do this? Uh, so I can chop down a stick with a work blade, which I can make the work blade. So that's cool. We get two wood pins out of it, which is exactly what we need to make this. The oak slats. Okay. I need how many of those? Three. This gives two. So I need a bunch of sticks. I can make this. I can make this thing, which will be a drying rack. And I have a little bit of food here that I can actually dry out, which is fantastic. We're gonna need that. So let's go ahead and see if we can get, that's not what I wanted. See if I can go ahead and get some of this. So number one, we do this. I know I need the slats. There's one recipe and there's two. That gives us the slats we need. 
And then we're going to need to chop down one stick in order to get the pins. But that does mean I need a work blade, which I should have enough stuff to make. But I do need to do that. Work blade. We need the flint one because that's all. Wow, four flint. Oh, full flint. One of those in a stick. I actually have all of that. But geez, I didn't require it. I need, you know, so much. That's pretty crazy, actually. So we're going to go there, do that. Uh, we need to get you, four of you, and then we can put you away. Uh, boom, and then we need a full flint. I thought I had that somewhere. Oh, do I not have that? Okay, do I have any gravel? I don't have that. I have this. I only have two things of gravel. Am I out of flint? Oh, I must be out of flint. Oh wait, how much of this do we have? Five, I can make one flint actually. I think I should be able to do this. No, I thought I could. No, I can't do that. Can I? Okay. Um, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go find some more gravel to get some more flint. Now it's time. I did have. I got the work knife in here somewhere. So there it is. So I chopped down a stick. So I should have this. 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 Three of those, one needs to be put away, and then this and this. And then we have the oak drying rack, so we can go ahead and set this, I don't know, somewhere. There? Sure. I don't even use, I can't use this? Are you kidding me? No, I can use it, it's fine. Okay, maybe I just have to right click on it with the food. I think it's talking about the block behind it. Yeah, oh, ah, freaking me out for a second, man. Holy crap, okay. Um, so I have is it you, lard. Lard can be dried out and actually a pretty good food afterwards. You as well, I think. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. There's just a couple of things that actually gave food after it was dry. Uh, so yeah, and I think both of these are it. Oh, maybe not. Can you not, are you not dryable? You might not be dryable. Because I can salt it, but I don't know if I can dry it beforehand. Uh, okay, so I know I can put lard in there so I can eat it. It's not working. How do, do I throw it on top or, or something? <laughs> How do you use the drying rack? Maybe I can't use it yet. I don't know. I should be able to. I don't know why I can't. Slowly dry certain items influenced by surroundings. Okay, so what is that? I need to look this up. Okay, I got to learn how to do this because I need the food. Um, and if I can figure out how to do this, then I might be able to kill the pigmen to get more lard because I think that's where I got it from. Uh, and we can actually get some kind of food while we wait for my other stuff to grow a little bit better. Uh, my skills and such. But for now, I need to... All right, so now that we have a little bit better understanding of things... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I looked it up a little bit. Um, there really wasn't much information at the time of recording, CurseForge is actually like undergoing maintenance. It's they're doing like a server migration, uh, which basically just means they're changing where it's hosted. If you guys don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, so I couldn't actually look it up there, but I saw a video of a guy who just right clicked stuff onto this thing, just like that. And it apparently it also depends on where this stuff is or where the drying rack is that actually. Uh, helps it dry. I don't know. It doesn't really have a progress. It doesn't seem like, but I would figure that if it's a drying rack, then here in the hell biome anywhere, it should help it drying. I would put it next to lava, which in theory would help dry it faster, but I don't want it to burn. So I'm guessing this is probably the best bet just somewhere over netherrack or whatever. And I think it would actually do pretty well. Now, I do need to wait for it to dry, but that is, you know, a thing. Now, I don't know exactly where I got lard from. I can salt it, but it doesn't... I don't know. You, you can't dry it. I don't know. It says bait fish traps. That's cool, but I, wh what are we really going to fish, you know? Um, also, I've killed a couple more things in here, but I currently don't have enough experience. I'm almost level 5, and I need to be level 5 in order to gain another level in... Mining, which is what we would need where I could try to do the food thing. I'm not sure. I don't know exactly what I'm going to go with, but I do want to be able to get experience. I want to be able to get a bunch of experience, actually. So I think we're going to try to make a little bit of a pigmen farm. 
and we're gonna see if we can actually make that work and it's gonna be very difficult I'm thinking but now that I have a way to store XP we'll be okay because you see all of these guys they're all here if I do this right it can be not only a pigment farm but also the other guys I want to make a safe place to not just hide from our mobs but I want to be able to run into a place and actually like kill them so I, I don't exactly know I don't know how to do this, to be honest. To be honest with you. Okay. Because um, I can mine this, through this, actually, which is good. But I'm guessing I should probably just go back into a wall like this, you know? Because it doesn't need to be spectacular or fancy. But I do need to be able to hit pigmen, run in, and then protect myself. So this is kind of a big deal there. Um, and I can always clear out the area a little more just so I can see things better. Or, or, you know, whatever. Let's check our meat. It doesn't look like it's dried yet. And I think probably taking it off to check would be bad because then it probably has to start over. So I'm going to let it sit there for a while. We're going to see what happens. But, uh, yeah, I just need something simple. If I can do something simple, then I should... Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's be smart about this. Oh. Nah. Okay. So we're here now, so I can go ahead and kill these guys, and I can get stuff. This is a very crude example, but we should be good as soon as all of them are dead in the area, and they should actually come back pretty quick. Oh wow, he can reach really far actually, but it's good because we can also kill those guys. So now that nobody's in the area, we can tell from the mini-map, because mini-maps are amazing for this. We can now go ahead and collect all of our loot. And we got a bunch of experience. I already am at five. So I can go ahead and here, get to this and get to number five, which will let us do the iron pickaxe. So now oh, I have two skill points as well. I don't know what that means. I can't level anything out. Oh, zero here. So I have two skill points in mining. You guys require five skill points and I need to have all of that other stuff in order to get it. You require three, which means I need six in mining and five in gathering. So adds a small chance to mine two coal per one. That's actually really, really good. Uh, but now that we actually have four mining, I can mine coal. Yeah, see, I can look at, I can get coal now, which is very, very good, mind you. This is, this is amazing. I'm assuming this is going to help quite a bit with certain things, not that I know what that is. Torches, yoo-hoo! Fire charges, that's cool. Block of coal, okay. Angel ring! That would be amazing. This is going to take a long time to get, but yes, I want one. These guys, of course, are going to be really difficult, but I'm assuming that there is a way to get a bat in here, but I could be wrong. Uh, redstone lantern would be good. Uh, stone torches, for whatever reason. Smoky quartz. I wonder if you can be used like, well, I guess there's a regular quartz, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, what do I need for quartz? Because I can make quartz tools now, theoretically. And I can stop trying to find flint, which would be very, very difficult to find. Okay, what do I need? Oh, 17? Unbelievable. Okay, all right. Well, that's a thing. Oh, but coal does give us experience, too. Ooh, we need to mine every block of coal we can get our hands on right now. <laughs> this will be good. This will be so good. And uh, the... Experience thing over there is stores it as actual experience and not just levels. If it's stored it as levels, our best bet would actually to be get just a couple of levels and then store it into the pylon and do that every couple of times because you grow the initial levels really, really quickly. But since it actually stores actual experience, that's not the best bet for us because it's not going to change anything. So now it's just in order to do it faster, we want to get this, you know, we just want to get it all really. Uh, just as long as we find everything, we're going to have the best bet. And then once the pigments start to spawn back again, we can do that again and continue to get a little bit more experience that way. And I think that's going to help us out a lot when we get a whole lot of this stuff here. So let's just deposit all. Because I had another seven levels there. That was pretty good. But we're going to keep doing this back and forth. I'm going to find all of the coal in the area. I'm going to keep my inventory clear if I can. And we're going to go do some stuff. Ooh, we also get leather too, man. Check this out. We can get leather scraps. We get rotten flesh, which I'm thinking, can we dry this? I'm thinking we might be able to dry this too. Let's see if we can dry this stuff. This would be pretty amazing if we can. Uh, uh, 
Uh, dang it, can't dry it. Okay, well, he's not there. You can dry it on the other... Ooh, what do we need for you? 12 gathering and 10 building. Okay, yeah, we need a lot for that. Okay, now, oh, anyway, moving wrong. Oh, what do we need for the chests? What was it? Four building, right? I want a regular chest. I have a regular chest, so I need four building. I might be able to do... I don't think I can get all that... Oh, wow. I have that much? That is ridiculous. That's pretty crazy, though. Um, it, would it be better in this case if we just do, like, a little bit? What would I need for the next level of building? Because I'm already at two. I need four. So if we go here, would it be better? Minus ten. We get four. Okay. And then we go in here to get one level, and then we do it again. Would that be the best work, uh, route? So we need five levels now. So we have five. And then here, I think this might actually be even more beneficial. Because now we have four building, so I can go ahead and use the chest. And I really want to try out the chest to see if that has a different way of storing things, because that would be absolutely amazing. So now that I can do that, boom, boom. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, I love it. Oh, store all the things. Oh, that's fantastic. I need to make all the chests now. And now I can actually turn these guys into chests, because I also have a lot of wood. I have some hellbark wood in here. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. I really need to find a better food source. I actually did, uh, I had a lot more. Oh, where's my, um, did I not get any more of the pigmen stuff? Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought I would get at least some of it by now. At least a little bit of this stuff. But it doesn't look like I did get any of the lard thing. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Totally. Okay, cool. I'm being a derp, guys. I'm just being a derp. It's okay. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to dry this stuff. Uh, okay, so what I want to do, I would love for this stuff to dry. Shoot. Now I just reset that too. So I can't do any more of that. I really need to eat something. Now look at this. I am I'm almost starving right now. Oh, look. You can see my... Uh, my screen, everything is getting desaturated. I don't know if you can tell, but it is. It's like everything is losing color, basically. That's what desaturated means. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy. There's a guy. There's a dude. Dude, man. Come here, dude, man. Come on, dude. Come in. Come and get me. Are you coming? Hey. Hey, come here. You're stuck. Come and get me. Hi. You finding me? Yeah, you're finding me. Okay, come on. I can't run right now. That's, a, that's okay, though. He can't get in a one wide gap, so I'm not worried about blocking the space. Come here, stupid. I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this. I kind of have to. I need a little bit of something. I don't think the color is going to come back yet. Are you here? Come on, guy. I'm right here, man. There you go. You finding me? Oh, there's two of them. Come on, guys. Come on. I can use your experience. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. This guy is ridiculous. Holy crap -oh. I think I stored my experience. Did I store my experience? That would be dumb if I didn't. I should have stored it first. There was a guy inside, too. There was a guy already in here, which is really ridiculous. Also, I think the ghostly shape means mobs just can't see you. They can still hit you if you hit them, but they can't actually see you. So you have a chance to get all your gear back, which is really, really good, actually. So they can't see me right now to actually attack, I don't think. Yeah, see, he's kind of like running away. Um, I wish I had some kind of long distance thing to attack this guy with. Oh my goodness, he's so crazy! I already lost all my experience after the first one, so this is fine. Don't worry about this. Uh, I can go ahead and die. Uh, after he spawned, I always get like a huge lag spike. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. And now look, he's stupid. Come here and give me all your stuff. Now, I think there's a second one. So before we lose all of our experience, we're going to go ahead and deposit it all. Because this thing is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I love this thing. It's so great. Hopefully, that guy doesn't take too long. Um, but I think what we're going to have to do is set up like a bunch of those. And just to see if we can... Oh, there he is. Just to see if we can actually get some kind of a stable food environment going. You can see me? Oh, I got my stuff back. I wonder if that's why. Come on, guy. I got to stay way away from him, though, because he's going to be able to see me from a distance. He's going to be able to charge me if he gets too close. Can you come over this way? Come in between. Can you Can you come? Are you coming? Are you going to get here? Oh, you're stuck. Look at this. I can just do it this way. Why am I moving? Are you trying to pull me in? 
Oh, I can't do it this way. Oh, 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 he's running, he's running, he's going. He's doing something. Ow, ow. Okay, bad, bad, bad news, bad news. Okay, good thing I totally did deposit those experience points though, huh? Yep, 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 very good, very good. Okay, we can do this though. This is why, guys, I can't do hardcore. One, I'm too bold with things. Hit him! Hit him! Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Holy crap Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Nope, we're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. <sighs> okay, but that's just kind of why. I can't... I'm... I don't... I say I'm too bold or whatever. Like, I just do a lot of things. I charge out in the middle of nowhere to get a lot of... A lot of oh, it's just crazy. Um... So yeah, I want to change over. I need to get rid of all my death points again because they're really going to get distracting. But I need to change all of these guys over into real chests. And that way I'll have more space for everything. It'll be a lot easier to find stuff. Yes, easier than this. I know I can look in here and see what I've got, but I really don't like it much. I can hold shift and actually see a very similar thing here. So yeah, it's kind of a deal. But let me switch everything over into chests. Uh, I might clear out the pigmen again. I don't know how many pigmen we have here, but I don't think we have too many. But if there's any in the area, I can probably draw them all here and actually make it into my little spot just just fine. So, I don't know. It's a thing. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out our next steps as well. I could also look at the Enderman, too, to get a little bit of experience from that guy. Can you see me? Oh, there he goes. Through. Oh, oh, get in a hole. Okay. Ow! Whoa! Did you tell... You teleported me to you! Dang it, you have Quark installed? Quark does. I think that's Quark. Is that Quark or is it something else? Oh, dang it. This is so crazy. This is so difficult. You guys are laughing at me right now. I know you are. So unfortunate. So I've been doing a little bit of work here. Um, <laughs> last episode, I said it's going to be a lot of a let's play type thing. But it turns out there's actually quite a bit of grinding. So... I'm going to make it as much Let's Play as I can, but I also need to cut out a lot of the more boring parts. So that's a thing. But I went and mined all of the coal in the area. This stuff isn't done yet. That's really weird. One of them finished like really quick and then that's it. That, nothing else. But I mined all the quartz in the area. Oh, almost all of it. And you actually get quite a bit of experience. I think I had almost like 10 levels or something. Um... And it was, it was a lot. Oh, there's more, uh, there's more coal over here. It was so much. And then one of the juggernauts, he caught me before I got back into the ship to deposit it all. So I wasn't able, like I tried to run in and everything, but he just charged me before I made it into the door. Uh, and so I lost all of that experience. Apparently I missed a node of coal, which is really good because at least we can get a little bit of a boost to our stuff. But... I don't know, it's just really, really unfortunate that this guy was so... <laughs> just right there. It's really bad. I lost so much experience from it. Uh, it might have even been more than 10 levels, because this is about to give me 10 levels too. Um, but I don't know. There's a couple things we're going to be working on in the next episode. This one's already kind of done. <laughs> We're kind of out of time for today, which is really unfortunate. Let's go ahead and deposit our experience now before we can forget to do so. Uh, so, I don't know. We just got to worry about work, work on that stuff later. Uh, I did get this furnace here, which is actually... Let me go ahead and get you... Uh, I can't... Uh, I don't have stuff. All right. Next chest. That's fine. Uh, but... I don't know, I got this guy made because I was looking at a furnace. I was like, okay, well, we can dry things, but can we cook things? And we might be able to, but this guy actually requires nether brick to do the regular one. I think we can use this. It seems like it. Uh, this one has a requirement of two gathering. I had to boost that up a little bit. But this is just nether brick, which is actually okay. It's not too difficult. We have a nether fortress right beside us almost. It's like over in that corner. Oh, look at you. Are you going to turn into a bunch of big guys again? Or powerful guys watch out you're hit him man hit oh my goodness gracious come on now stupids whoa oh who come and get me okay come on okay oh gotcha who okay we're good okay so far no more infer no infernal mobs at least not yet doesn't mean they won't show up 
I think I think we're good with infernal mobs, which is actually not necessarily a good thing because last time the infernal mob actually gave me gear in string. So if we had another one, I could have possibly gotten some string. I don't know. Protection for gathering. I can almost get this. Arcane scroll gives me protection. Fire aspect that gives me. That's cool. I don't know how long they last, but I'm assuming they're just skills like uh, like like you know like potion effect type deals. Uh, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyway, that's the thing. I'm lingering on way too long. But we have another fortress over in the corner. So the net things we're gonna do, we're gonna do into, we're gonna start getting into some tinker stuff. I think. Uh, which is kind of the next area. We have some tinkers, uh, and we can also go, I can complete this guy, which we'll probably do next time. There's a treadmill. Why would we want a treadmill? We can spawn two pigs, which is good, because we can breed two pigs. That's a fantastic thing. Food! Food! Anyway, I was just talking about that. Um, and we're also going to go into the nether fortress that's over there, because we need some bones in order to tame our wolves, and then we can, you know, equip them with wolf armor and storage. They have a little bit of storage as well, if I can figure out how to do that. And then we'll have a little bit of protection. We can bring them with us as long as we're careful, because we'll have to be very careful so they don't die. But, uh, it'll be a thing. Anyway, I've spent way too much time on this episode already, so I hope you liked it. If you did, please do hit that like button and subscribe to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Do what you do, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, peeps.